Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be creating the sketch that we will use for the comic that we later on color in and pencil using the brush that we created last time. Now I'm not the most amazing artist and don't expect me to create anything too, too great here, but I just wanted to show you the techniques that I use to create drawings and you talented people can take that and make it amazing. So when I'm starting off, what I like to do is just create a very basic rough shape and this is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm not all that great at imagining how things will look before I put it down on paper so I just go and I have to rough it out real quick and that kind of helps me build off of that. So you'll see what my technique is. Once I finish the first rough draft, I select everything and I expand it and then I lower the opacity down to about 40% and then I lock that layer, create a new layer above it, and this is where I do even more refining. And for this refining, I just chose the default brush and just made it really, really small and drew lightly. And then I also changed the color to red, so then you could see the difference between the black background and the red foreground. Again, this step is just the refining stages. This is not the final outline. So don't feel like you have to be perfect on this one. This is just taking your rough sketch and building upon that. Now you saw in my technique I used at the bottom over there, my line was not perfect, so all you have to do is select that line, and I use the, the direct selection tool, which is shortcut V, selected the line, and then just drew over it with the brush, and it continued along its way. And you can see with the mouth here, I deviated quite a bit from the original idea, and this is exactly what it's here for. Oftentimes when I'm doing these sketches, I will go over it three or four times, but I don't want to bore you guys, so I just went over it twice. This is just personally the best way for me to continue to add detail to my drawing without getting a headache or just totally messing up trying to do too much at once. So this allows me to be sloppy at first, be a little less sloppy, be even less sloppy. And then by the end of it, it is a pretty decent drawing with a fair amount of detail and I have no headache, which is great. If you're anything like me, hands are really, really difficult. I love to just try and sketch them when I'm bored on a piece of paper, but they still, I, I don't understand them. They, they're very weird bones and structure and whatnot. So the best way for me to do this is oftentimes just to Google an image and then I'll even just throw that image right into Illustrator and then use that as something to trace or just take a picture of your own hand and that helps you get that nice gripping position and it shows you the details of how things are bending and your bones are structured and all that. Within time I'm sure you can do it without reference but I still struggle with it. It's, it's very very complicated. Well I struggle with all kinds of drawing and whatnot so I'm used to trying to find nice shortcuts and the best way to get the job done. Google Images is definitely one of those ways Sometimes what I'll actually do is Google a lot of things, find images for what I'm working on, and then go into Photoshop and do pretty much a photo chop and mock up what I'm trying to draw in there. And then I'll go into Illustrator, trace over it, and then go over that, refine it, and refine it. So there's a lot of tricks that you can do when you're not a great artist. So I envy those that can do it without reference, and uh, one day I hope I'll, I'll be able to get there. So we are winding down here, we're coming to an end. I just have a little bit of more detail to do. I have to just draw on quickly where the broom is going to be located. And then I also do some more refining. And now don't, don't be afraid to go back and refine it. And since this is still the sloppy sketch stage, you can just grab things with the direct selection tool and scale it up. The idea for this is to just get the basic idea of what you're doing. Like for this broom here, I drew out the basic idea, but it was the wrong size. So I just stretched it and scaled it. And that, that's pretty much the shape that I'm after. And then once we go and do the final inking, we can be a little neater and cleaner with it. And it'll look, it'll look good since we have that background image to give us an idea of how we want it to be placed and whatnot. The legs were kind of strange. Still not too sure if they're perfect. And I probably will refine them some more in the final inking stage. But for this, it gives me the, a good enough idea. And as you will see, I do exactly what I was talking about, where I deviate a little bit away from the original sketch. And I thought it would look good to have some hair on her kind of flowing away. So it looked like she was actually flying through the sky and not just floating there in the air. 
So I just threw that in really quickly and then again once we do the final inking I'll get some cleaner lines and make it look a little bit better. But guys that's all that there is to it. I hope you learned something new. Be sure to leave a link below with some drawings that you do so I can see your amazing work and get inspired by it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.